Hi guys, hope you're doing great. We're going to be reviewing today Imitation Man by Amourage. Uh, this is a scent. I haven't smelled this one before. It's going to be my initial impression of the scent. Uh, Amourage is a promising brand, guys. Um, I tested Interlude Man out. You can watch my last review and I loved it, guys. I'm slowly loving it a lot more, guys. If all the other scents from the Amourage lineup are similar to the quality that you're getting from uh, imitation man i'm going to be very pleased by it guys so anyway let's just spray it once and see how good it actually is immediately i'm getting a lot of rose it's a jammy rose a lot of leather violet leaf iris this is uh this smells like the initial spray this smells very friendly enjoyable a lady more more leaning to the feminine side uh, i don't see myself as a man wearing it right now it's reminding me of dior en parfum this has like very similar iris note combined with the leather it's like they took dior en parfum toned down the iris and put a lot more rose inside of it like uh, bulgarian rose or turkish rose one of the two like it's a mix probably of both of them but it's nice it, it's enjoyable it's lovely um, but it, it lacks that um, manliness that you are getting from the leather that you get in a dior en parfum the leather is there, don't get me wrong, but it is more of a supporting actor compared to Dior en Parfum. It's like they took Dior en Parfum and wanted to make a niche version of it, uh, which is not a bad thing because DHP is amazing. I'm getting nutmeg, black pepper, but these are our supporting actors. Forefront, you're getting a lot of rose, iris, iris or oris butter, one or the two, they smell similar like it's it's creamy it's pretty creamy waxy um a bit chalky the, also a little bit of chalk that you are getting like those colorful chalks um vetiver is definitely present but not dominating it's it's really a nice scent guys for an initial review i i don't i can't say anything bad about it other than this is not really for men i would say this leans more to the feminine side as a man you can wear it no problem no issues there but only if you wear it with, wear it with confidence because it's kind of a little bit leaning to the feminine side well you can also look at the the bottle of imitation man it has like lgbt colors on it so if you're a man that's trying to risk it all with the lgbt colors go ahead my friend um it's not bad guys i'm giving this one like scent wise subjectively this is an eight out of ten for sure if it performs like interlude man i would be happy because interlude man uh, really performs very good but this one uh, is is um, it's, it's, it, it's i could be wearing this if i was a woman let me put it that way like it's not for men um i'm not getting anything manly even though it reminded me of dior en parfum but it's really not the same like dior en parfum definitely not in the same ballpark it's like they wanted to make a female version of dior en parfum make it more niche added some leather added some spices nutmeg and it also has some green notes it's more of like the leaves that you are getting the leaves from the rose like it has some green touches but it's definitely not um, in the forefront you won't be smelling it like that it's more of a supporting actor who can wear this so fruity man can wear this we already talked about that fruity man can wear it men that are very confident because i don't see any man that is like wearing uh, slobby clothes like uh, baggy clothes that can pull this one off no this one has to be like a very self-confident man 
that can wear it because if you are not confident you cannot wear this one because it's leaning more to the feminine side as a woman for sure i would say to get a sample of the of the man version because the man version is good i haven't smelled the female version if this is the man version then i imagine the female version will be a lot more sweeter this has some dryness even though the rose is there with uh, it's um it's an intriguing scent because it's not just like this uh, one dimensional scent it has multiple facets but overall it's nice uh, in the background it's giving me just a little bit of like these um, nutmeg touches but that's it really i can't hate it guys it's a good scent leans more to the feminine side would i wear it personally no i wouldn't wear it i would uh, advise it's not all meant to be wearing it age age wise if you're a man at least like 30 years old at least and uh, wearing like wearing dressed up like don't wear like shitty clothes when you are going to be spraying this or else you're gonna be looking like your uh, mother's purse like this like, like this smells like somebody's mother's purse that's just it like with a lot of lipstick inside of it and like uh, all those w what are they called like that you clap clap open and you put on your face <laughs> i don't know those names <laughs> but anyway you get the point it, 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 it smells like a makeup bag like full of eyeliner and all those stuffs this is really the smell what i'm getting right now overall if i don't nose dive inside of it it's a bag of makeup and personally would i want my uh, my woman to be wearing this i would say no why because I don't want them to smell like a bag of makeup even though the scent wise it is great 8 out of 10 guys but I wouldn't want my my women to smell like this I wouldn't buy this for my mother my sister nor for my love neither of them because uh, it's really like a mixed bag of makeup that's it what I'm getting right now out of it and it's a bit chalky like chalk, mix, chalk with a kind of a mix of um, the makeup and like feminine men can wear this one for sure if you're a feminine man if you skate that way for sure you can wear this one the leather is really like uh, disappearing and it stays with the rose this smells me a lot of la uh, this reminds me of uh, maison francisco jean's um, a la rose that's it they are very similar the only difference is this one has more leather this one has leather that one doesn't have leather that one has a lot of green notes this one doesn't so if you are interested in a la rose which was not very much hyped um, you can look into this one because this one is a little bit different it's kind of like a dior en parfum and an a la rose niche scent not a bad one um, but like i won't revisit this one guys let's be honest this wasn't like uh, something i was going to be crazy about but i can understand a lot of women that will like this one because they probably like their makeup when they buy it, the smell of it so i can't uh, bash them guys so for some women this will be the perfect scent but it's not for me nor for the women that i associate myself which is classy ladies yeah, no, this is really not for me, guys. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the initial review. I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao.